Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we have a little bit of a treat for you. Instead of working on vehicles like I normally do, we're going to be going to an event. We're going to the o Awana Club Grand Prix race at our church. If you're not familiar with the Awana Club, what that is, it's kind of a youth group for the children. Both my kids are in it, and what they're having today at the Awana Club is their Grand Prix where they have the wooden wooden car race. Now, in order to participate in that, we had to build our cars. My kids made their cars. I made mine. This is the car that I made. As you can see, it does look similar to this Countach project I've been working on. I kind of copied that. So I'll get a close-up of it so you can see it. Now, I spent a lot of time working on this car to make it look as cool as it does, but I found out once I was there at the race, this thing here was nothing compared to some of the stuff that the other people made. Some of these people are hobbyists, the cars were beautiful, we're gonna show that in the video. But let's go ahead and head over to the Awana Grand Prix where we're gonna get started with that. We also had a friend of mine, Frank Sanchez, if you've been watching my channel, he's the race car driver who I've featured on here with his car collection. We've also gone to the Thunderbolt Racetrack in Millville, New Jersey to watch him race. We'll be following him next season as well. But he was nice enough to join um, at this event as well as a guest. Let's head over there and get started. Mr. Sanchez, do you have any words for our race car driver? 
drivers this morning. Just don't enter the race of it. Because you don't probably won't beat me. So. <laughs> All right. Once again, let's give them a round of applause. And thank you, Mr. Sanchez, for gracing us this morning. All right. Racetrack to, to see everyone's hard work and designs and everything come together, but ultimately we need to realize that there is a God. He is creator, he is redeemer, and he is savior of all. Now when I think about racing, I, I think about, I mean obviously we have you know the racetrack right here, but when I think about racing, I think about back when I was a kid, and I think about running. How, kids, how many of you guys like run at school? How many of you run really fast? How many of you think you're the fastest kid in the room? I won't ask you to prove it. But for us as, as human beings, we, we, we have this, we have a different race that we run than, than the race of just running to the finish line to get a prize. Not the human race either. <laughs> we, we have a much bigger race, and it, it is the race that we're, we're trying to escape something. We're trying to escape the clutches of death in our lives. Because I'm going to present to you a fact, and I believe this to be true. One out of one people will die. I believe that is accurate. Statistical analysis, not a mathematician, but I believe one out of one will die. And that's the race that we're trying to escape. We're trying to escape death. And, and let me tell you, I don't know how to train for that, personally. I don't know how to escape that race and win that race. But I do know someone who did. I read about him in the Bible. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he came, was, was miraculously born on a starry night. He lived a perfect life. And then lived among us. He lived among people 2,000 years ago. And he served them. He taught them. He loved them. In fact, he loved them so much that he gave up his own life. He was crucified on a cross. Now, did he did he go kicking and screaming? Those of you, a lot of kids, did he go kicking and screaming and saying, I don't want to, I don't want to? No. What did he do? He yeah, he did it. <laughs> but he went faithfully, quietly, and he said, I am the king of the Jews. And that's why they crucified him. They crucified him because they were saying, you, he said that he is God. And he proved it time and time again as it's recorded in the Bible. And what's really cool about this is that we can put our hope and faith in him. Because he is God. At the beginning I said that there is a God. And he lives in three different persons. We have God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Jesus, who was sent after Jesus ascended to the Father. And He lives among us. And He works in our hearts. Uh, I, I call the Holy Spirit more like the, the conscious convincer, the, the person persuader. He's working on your heart right now in every little detail, trying to say, hey, follow me. This is what is right. This is what you shouldn't be doing. And it's our choice to, to do what he suggests or to do our own way. And let me just tell you guys, it's a lot easier to do my own way, isn't it? The righteousness of God is through faith in Jesus Christ. To all who believe, there is no distinction. For all have
have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. However, they are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ came to redeem people. He wants to have a relationship with you. But He gives us that choice. He gives us the choice to follow Him. It's not like He tells you, hey, you follow me, you're now my slave, and that's what you're going to do. That's not how it works. We follow Him on our own free will. Let me ask the guys in the room. Uh, hey, adult men, did you ever ask out a girl and she say no? Come on, guys. Now, did you try to force her to say yes? Don't answer that question. <laughs> In the same way, God does not force us to say yes. He will continue to ask you. He will continue to send a little encouragement your way, a little love your way, a little peace your way to get your attention. But He will not force you to love Him. That's not how love works. Love is not force. If there's anything you take home today, let it not be a trophy of first place in this race. Let it be the trophy of first place in the race. We're looking at heat number three. Christian is going to be the winner. Heat number three.
That was an awesome event. Unfortunately, as you saw, I didn't win. Matter of fact, my car didn't do too well at all. This was my first time participating in one of these. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to do that. So didn't realize all that goes into it, but some of these people have been doing it for years. It's all about the balancing of the car and the wheels and all that stuff. So hopefully next year, God willing, I'll be putting a vehicle in that again next year and hopefully do it better. Now, one of the cool things, I actually did get a ribbon, and I'll get a close-up of that. Obviously, it's not a first or second place ribbon. It was just for all the participants, so that was pretty cool. Got that. So that wraps up this video. Just wanted to have a just take a break from all the stuff that we work on on this channel and just have a fun time with the kids. It was an awesome event. If you get an opportunity to go to one of those, highly recommend it. It was fun, a lot of excitement. So I hope that this video was enjoyable for you. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel. I'm constantly posting content. We have this Countach project that we've been restoring. Rounding third on that, if you want, you can check out on my channel all the different episodes following this whole restoration from when I got it. It was a, just a piece of junk and didn't work up until where it is right now, finally getting painted. So please subscribe, like the video. I'll see you next time.